You know, I, I have been in television for over 10 years. I've seen many fads and many programs. I've seen them come and I've seen them go. <laughs> I've seen you come, Burrow. Why don't you go? <laughs> Who are you? Me. I'm you 10 years ago. I'm Uncle Milty. <laughs> Folks, laugh it up, laugh it up. Are you in here for entertainment or revenge? <laughs> and now, ladies and germs, I call you ladies and gentlemen, and you know what you are. Oh, I do not do stuff like that anymore. Today, comedy is sophisticated. <laughs> you must be kidding. Well, I swear I'll kill you. I'll kill you a million times. Please, don't applaud, don't applaud. It's an old building. <laughs> Man, that's an old joke. It's, yeah, but the people love it. I was, I was on the air 10 years ago. Every week I had millions of people on the floor. Oh. Really? The kind of people who watch me have furniture. I was... <laughs> oh, he made it funny. Folks, ain't he a doll? A doll. D-U-L-L. Doll. <laughs> Now, look, you don't understand. The people don't like raucous comedy. Oh, Today, I am suave. I'm smooth. I'm relaxed. I take lessons from Perry Como. I'm glad you took something from him. He took your show. <laughs> oh, Milton! You're wonderful. You're wonderful. You got a great delivery. Should be on a truck. <laughs> Come on, laugh it up, girl. Laugh it up. I'll give you a shot in the head. Laugh! <laughs> laugh! You can stop making those kind of remarks. I do all right. I know what the television public want today. You do? I so, so do I. Coming, Mr. Dillon. <laughs> Coming, Mr. Dillon. I am not talking about imitations. I'm talking about laughs. You're talking about them, Burrow, but you're not getting any. <laughs> now, just look at you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you walk here before public. Look at the suit you're wearing. I bet you never even had it pressed. Ah, that's where I fooled you. The suit's pressed. My body's wrinkled. <laughs> oh, Uncle Milty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Uncle Milty. How do you like this brand new outfit, Mr. B? Must you wear those hokey clothes? They'll get bigger laughs than those. <laughs> that went out of style in 1923. What I was wearing was always daring. Tony Curtis and Jack Lemon copied me. <laughs> was my program a success when I slipped into a dress? Absolutely, Uncle Milty. Positively, Mr. B. <laughs> Don't walk in front of me. Those old bits that you used to do in that old show. Now, don't do that. Now, stand still and don't do that. Stop with those horny bits. Today, you cannot insult the public's intelligence. Well, get off the stage and nobody ever notice it. <laughs> How about that, folks? How about that? <laughs> now, that settles it. I demand you stop with these insults. If I'm so bad, how come NBC signed me for 30 years? How come? They signed me, Burl. I got stuck with you. <laughs> Now, Uncle Milty. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Uncle Milty. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There's a brand new form of comic on TV. What do you mean? No more blacking out a tooth. Turning ankles is uncouth. Can I even mug and holler? Wowie wee! But Uncle Milty. Yes, yes, sir. But Uncle Milty. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There's one thing on which the both of us agree. Say, no matter what the style, we will try, try to make them smile. Absolutely, Uncle Milty. A positively, Mr. B. Oh, yes, we both made a barrel of money. We may not always be funny, but we'll settle for half to bring you a laugh. Side by side. Beecher. I know. Oh, gosh. You think the world is ready for two girls? I know.
know the Burl of ten years ago and the new Burl don't agree on a lot of things, but here's something we both agree on, the wonderful new Richard Hugnut products, and here's the one and only Betty White to tell you about them. Thank you, Mr. Burl, and Uncle Milty, wherever you are.